Ukrainian drone destroys Russian supersonic bomber. Here's a summary of the article. A flagship Russian long-range bomber has been destroyed in a Ukrainian drone strike, according to reports. The Russian Ministry of Defense said in a statement that an attack by a copter-type UAV took place at around 10 o'clock Moscow time. While the destruction of a single aircraft will have little effect on the potency of Moscow's current 60-strong fleet, the operation highlights Kyiv's growing ability to strike targets deep inside Russian territory. The Russian mod's description of the drone as a copter-type UAV suggests a cheap, commercially available device launched at short range. The Tu-22 is a Cold War-era, swing-wing supersonic bomber, codenamed Backfire, by NATO, which has been used extensively in attacks on Ukrainian cities. They said Russia's 52nd Guards Bomber Aviation Regiment carried out the attack. BBC Verify confirmed the location of the Ukrainian drone attack on SOLTSY-2 by comparing visual clues, such as the appearance of aircraft and base, to historical satellite images of the air base. This post received a score of 22,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Gotta love Russia calling it a terrorist act. The nation you are at war with attacking one of your military bases is the most clear-cut non-terrorist you can get but we all know, those quotes aren't for us, they are for their own citizens. They were using this plane to bomb Ukrainian cities since the start of the invasion. Ukraine is doing the counter-terrorism here. Exactly, and this is a waste of space. The way to know Vova is lying is when he opens his mouth. Love the reports from Russia that claimed it was damaged. I guess technically it was damaged. Just as it having some heating concerns while engulfed in flames lol. This is great news. These are not easily replaceable so each one destroyed is a significant setback. Just hope they can do the same with the remaining A-50 spy aircraft because I don't think Russia can really replace those right now. 99.999% damaged. 0.001% fully operational. They probably found a couple of bolts they can reuse. When exposed to high temperatures metals do funny things. I wouldn't reuse those bolts on a toddler-sized swing set let alone a warplane. That's just outdated Western thinking. In Putin's Russia, high temperatures only strengthen the bolts resolve to fight for its country. Is hardened now. Is better. Is why is called heat treating. Is treated. By heat. Not to worry. It's cooled down by air. As it's plummeting to the ground. So either, a. Ukraine is having success launching fixed-wing drones at long range at precision targets in well-off fortified military bases, or b. Ukraine special forces or guerrillas or rebellious Russians are launching close-range multi-rotor drone attacks from well within Russia. Neither situation being true should make Russia feel very good about their defenses. It was specifically the new modernized Tu-22M3 that was destroyed and not the retired Tu-22. BBC should update their first paragraph to specify that. Russian propaganda is already pushing haha they only destroyed an old museum piece lie. Apparently destroyed in the process of refueling. Rather odd for a retired plane. Hence the massive fire. Yeah. I thought that too. Didn't know museum pieces in Russia had has on them. American museum planes usually don't, you know. Museum jets aren't fully loaded and ready to fly across the Atlantic? Are you saying that Wonder Woman 84 lied to me? Just like the museum ship in Battleship that was loaded with munitions. Just in case aliens attack, I guess. Okay, okay, are you all about done? What next are gonna tell me that guy didn't actually build a steam engine wheelchair and an iron steam spider in Wild Wild West? Don't you fucking dare. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.